Rosalind and I am back with another video of my favorite products of the month. So I didn't do a video last month but this is a combination of May and June and so I didn't have a lot of products last month so this month I do have a lot and I even had to cut it down because I had a lot. This time I have a little bit of everything. I have beauty, hair, jewelry, etc. and food so let's get started. So the first one that I have is this lash glue. Usually I don't wear lashes but last month actually more like in May I did go to a few events where I just wanted to play around with lashes my lashes are long but they don't curve and so they're not like pointing straight out but they don't have that natural curves so sometimes I have to depend on lashes to have volume and curvy lashes so what I like about this lash glue it's called true glue and they are a new brand at least to me I didn't know about them but they make this one that it is natural so traditional lash glue contains chemicals and harmful ingredients and one of those is ammonia so applying that into a sensitive area of our face which is the eye and that can get into our bloodstream and because anything that we put into our skin our body absorbs and so that is basically not good for us in the long run and so this lash glue contains very natural ingredients so a few of those is rose water chamomile and castor oil so those are a few of the very natural ingredients and I have been using this and this lasts me all day and I just love it for being natural it's not tested on animals so that is very important for me that is great because I just love companies that are ethical and for them it's important to take care of the environment the animals and our health so I just love this brand so as I mentioned before I have been into lashes so um, before the way that I removed my makeup was with oil but this time I didn't want to use oil to remove my lashes so I went to my local drugstore and I was looking for makeup remover and and I came upon this one by Salma Hayek. I just love the packaging. I love the product itself, just the way it looks. It's white on the top and then pink on the bottom. I love the bottle and it contains flowers here. And what I like about this, it doesn't have any fragrance. It is not tested on animals. Once again, very important to me and it is gluten free. And you can see it's so cute, just the packaging. And all you have to do is just mix it up. Mm. I like that sound and then you just apply this on a cotton ball and remove your makeup or your eyelashes so I just love it it works great for me it, it feels a little bit oily but then it just goes away and then this one has cucumber rose water again I love rose water it has chamomile and lavender extracts so I love it I love everything about this okay the next thing I want to talk about are these sponges and these are konjac sponges and to me this is new as well so I got this from a friend and this was back for my birthday so that was back in March but I really didn't pay much attention to them I just thought oh they're just sponges but no so basically if you can see this one is dry so it feels like rock it is hard it is small but then this one I used yesterday and I got this one wet and so it, it expands kind of like the beauty blender sponge so what I like to do when I take a shower at nighttime that is the only time my face touches water so I'll just use my regular soap and at the end before I get out of the shower so basically what I do I get this wet just with water and then I just start rubbing this on my skin so basically this is just exfoliating and getting rid of bacteria that causes acne and again this is so natural it is plant-based it is so soft that you can also use this on baby skin so it is great I have noticed a difference on my skin once I use them a lot I plan on getting more and the little pack that I got brought one green this white one and then this black one and each one you can use about three months then you just throw it away and just start using a new one another thing that I like to do sometimes I mix water with raw apple cider vinegar and I put this here and then I start rubbing that on my skin as well so it is great as well so I just love it it leaves the skin so soft and I have noticed less acne on my face so I just love it okay the next one that I have is this for the hair and recently I did the keratin treatment on my hair and if you want to know more about my keratin 
third and experience, I'm going to leave the link to my blog and I talk about all the pros and cons of doing that onto your hair. And one of those things is that when you do the keratin treatment, you have to use sulfate free. So you have to use a shampoo that is more natural. And I got this one by Bird's Bees and this is the mango. It smells wonderful. To me, it smells like a mango ice cream. <laughs> And when I got this, I got this, the shampoo, and I got the conditioner. So the shampoo, I already ran out, it is empty. Um, the conditioner, I still have. And this one has no sulfates, no parabens, no flat weights, no petrolatum, and no synthetic fragrances. And again, it is cruelty-free. One of the things that I always notice when I buy natural shampoos, the problem with those is that they don't lather. Personally, I love shampoos that are natural, but at the same time, they will lather and then this one it creates all this foam all these bubbles on your hair and I just love that I love shampoos that lather so this one I just love it and this is a product that I know that I'm gonna buy again so love it okay the next one that I have is this necklace right here that I got from my sister on Mother's Day and this is from forever 21 I love the simplicity of this necklace it looks like two in one let me show you how it looks Okay, so once I put it on, this is how it looks like. I love how it looks. I love the length. It's not too long. It's not too short. And I just love the simplicity, like you said. I think it looks pretty elegant. And I love how it looks like it comes with two, but it's just one. So thank you, sister. I love it. Okay, this is not beauty related, but something that I wanted to talk about is this toothbrush right here, which is made out of bamboo. And then the bristles is from recycled materials. And what I love about about these toothbrushes it comes in a package of four so it, it is for the whole year so it comes with four and each toothbrush comes with the months that you're supposed to use it for because you're supposed to replace your toothbrush every three months so for example this one says July August and September as a little reminder of when you're supposed to switch it so I just love it thinking that it is good for the environment thinking that I am NOT using plastic toothbrush as I did before because they just end up up in landfills for many 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 years and they never disappear at least me I don't have that in in my mind thinking it's never gonna disappear because when it, it is natural they naturally decompose so I love it for that for it being all natural and having that little reminder every month so I just love it um in the beginning when you do start using it um the bristles is a little bit hard so if you have sensitive gums maybe it's not a good idea but as you use it more and more the bristles start it's getting soft so right now they're soft and this is like I said I just started using this and they're like medium strength so I just love it okay so something that I have to combat with is allergies I if there's dust if there's cats I suffer with allergies and I don't like to depend on pills too much because then I feel like my body is just gonna be more sensitive to that but I found this product and I love it for being natural so it is gluten and dairy free and when I saw the package I thought that it contained beeswax or honey because of the name and and the bee on the package but I checked the ingredients and it doesn't have any honey and as a vegan we don't consume that ingredient so I love it for that and it doesn't make you sleepy because I've had other pills where they are good they just made me sleepy so this is a good brand for that so if you suffer with allergies or if you know of anyone you can mention this product to them another thing that I love is coconut so if you know me I love roses and coconut and now that it is hot and it is the summer I love coconut and this one has 9 grams of sugar sodium 2% and calories 40% so it is more natural and of course it is processed but not as much as the other ones one thing that I noticed I love coconut and I try a lot of coconut products usually they say it's coconut but they don't to me they don't taste like coconut so this is one of those products that it is coconut and to me it does taste like coconut it is a sweet flavor and it is so yummy it's like you want to have more you eat one ice cream and you want to keep eating more and more and more so I love it and the last product that I want to talk about, pizza. 
who doesn't love pizza? This is by the brand Tofurky and they are a company that imitate a lot of foods with meat. So basically everything that they make is mock meat. So everything is plant-based. I've tried Tofurky, I've tried their ham and other foods. Ooh, their meat for a taco. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. They make this flavor which is Italian sausage with veggies. So this is so yummy. They have another one with just cheese and then another one with um, cheese and pepperoni which is also good and I love it. It has like a spicy flavor which I love and it is cheesy. So this is completely vegan. It is meatless. So it has no cholesterol because again, everything is plant-based. So the calories will tend to be a little bit less than traditional pizza not only it is more healthier but it is so yummy you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between like animal meats and plant-based meats so I just love it I get this from Whole Foods I put it in the oven for eight minutes and the last few minutes I just let it sit there to cool down because you're supposed to leave it in the oven for like 10 to 12 minutes but I've done that before and the pizza just burns so I just leave it for eight minutes and I'm good so I love it and if you have a chance just try it or one of their other flavors they're good too so I recommend it yummy I love pizza uh -huh. so that's it you guys for this month of my favorite products so I hope you have enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up you can like it you can share it and you can subscribe to my channel so thank you for watching and I'll see you until next time bye